Hello and welcome to norod4u.com and to www.4ehsbyehs.com Hello, my name is Amir Borenstein, I'm from uh, 4ehsbyehs and uh, norod4u.com and today we're going to talk about uh, how to measure the uh, EMF radiation, uh, electromagnetic uh, radiation inside your house. Well, the first thing you need to know about uh, measuring uh, EMF is that you need a meter. This is a, a, a home use meter. It's the Cornet uh, ED78. Uh, it is my most recommended meter for today. Uh, and it is able to use to, to measure both RF, radio frequencies, and extreme frequency ELF, magnetic field. Uh, it's, very, it's very easy to, to understand what the meter is showing and uh, to see uh, and to understand the levels. Uh, right now we will talk about uh, three techniques to, to measure the radiation and we'll show them uh, on this wall and on this TV. So, uh, the first thing is that uh, the first uh, way to measure EMF is a basic way that everybody can do it. Every child, every person, uh, doesn't matter what his, his, his education is or background, you just take the meter and you put it where you sleep where you walk, on the, the walking table, on the sofas in the living room, and in the kitchen where you sit, and you measure the radiation. Another step to do is start debugging, actually trying to understand what is causing those levels where you are testing, and this is done by either shielding part of uh, the walls or windows, or by simply unplugging electric devices and electronic devices from the electric socket therefore they are not effective anymore in uh, making an effect on the radiation levels and when you unplug a device that is actually makes a change on the meter this usually means that this device is radiating the place you are measuring it okay so again the very basic way is to measure when you sleep when you eat, when you sit, when you walk, where you, uh, <coughs> sorry, where you spend time with your kids, uh, and this is something that anybody can do. Second way is actually to, the, the, the idea behind it is actually to find the sources, okay? So you actually take the meter and you start scanning the house and scanning every, every one of your rooms in a way that you will not leave anything outside your scan and the principle is very simple when you get close to a source doesn't matter if this is an ELF source or an RF source the levels on the meter will be higher and higher so when you just up next to it just next to the or, or put the meter next to the source the levels will be very high and when you unplug this source then the level should drop so this is the way in order to this is what you should do in order to find the source. You should scan the house, see where this, the radiation is coming from, and then when you find it, just unplug it and see if this is the device that's causing the, the problem, causing the high levels. Okay? <coughs> and this is also, I think that everybody can do that. This is roughly simple. Roughly very simple. So, scanning the, the rooms, you actually also scan all, uh, all the walls. And the idea behind that is that usually people put things on walls, just like here, okay? As you can see, there's a computer on this wall, there's an amplifier, all, all stuff, all kinds of stuff, of TV stuff in here, and the LCD, all on the wall. So even if, you, if your wall is clean, you don't know what's on the other side, maybe your neighbor put something up. So you need to scan also the walls. Also, in, on external walls, there might be some penetration points from cell phone antennas and you can usually see that on windows if you if you scan a windows with a meter you'll see the levels are going high and then when you pass through the wall if the wall is made out of concrete then the level will drop <coughs> okay so scanning the walls will allow you to understand what what uh, to find the sources that are put against the wall and also to find penetration points uh, through the walls and this is very important when you find a penetration point you can use protection you can use protection in order to block 
sum or most of the radiation. Um, okay, so scanning the walls, and please remember that uh, most material, uh, most building material blocks sum of the RF. Most but, uh, building material don't block any any ELF magnetic field. Okay, so when you measure magnetic field, there will be uh, even a concrete wall will not help. Uh, it will not reduce the radiation. You will be able to find uh, the, the sources even on the other side of the wall. But when you measure RF, then a window will pass more RF than a wall. Okay, okay. So after you find the sources. Or maybe if you find some wall that is very, very bad, very suspicious, what you have to do, you have to scan it from top to bottom and do like a scrutinizing. Let's put this meter, I will put it on the ELF magnetic field on the most sensitive level. I don't know if you will be able to see because of the zoom out, but maybe. And I will scan the walls. And when the level will go over oh, here, the level is going up. Maybe you will be able to see by the LEDs that now it's the orange LED is on. And I will continue measuring. Now it's lower. And now it's very high here. And then it drops again. And then it goes up again. Okay? So I will just first hold on the meter and bring the meter to the camera so you'll be able to see the histogram. This is the histogram and it shows you the history, in this meter it shows you the history of the last 15 minutes, seconds. So you can see that I was very close to the source in the last 15 minutes. So this is the way to find the sources on a wall. I just un unhold it so now it's measuring again and the levels are low. You just scan until you reach the highest level. As you can see here, I hope you can see. It's actually red, okay? And the source here is the, this amplifier is the source, okay? So you scan the walls until you find the sources or you find the penetration point. And, and if there is a very problematic uh, uh, wall, you scan all of it in order to make sure to pinpoint the sources to pinpoint the penetration points. Okay, uh, the next thing is after, um, <coughs> after finding the source, you have to find a safety distance. And this is actually uh, not so simple, but it is uh, okay. Most people can do that. Uh, most logically, if, even if you if you have some experience with the meter, if you walk with, with it a while, you will be able to do that. You may you walk the meter into the into the the, the into measuring ELF. That that what I just did, and in the most sensitive ELF measuring. Uh, it's called LF30, okay. And I will, I will actually use this TV here. I will turn off the other um, the amplifier completely, so it will not affect. And I will show you. This is the the hot spot of the radiation coming from the TV. This is the highest point, okay. After finding the highest point, and it's very easy to find it. Just scan, okay. Okay, this is the highest point here. So after finding it, and you can see it's overload and it's red. Okay, so now I measure. I will measure it in three different axes. This is the y-axis. It's overload. This is the x-axis. Uh, it's about five milligauss. And this is the z-axis. You cannot see it, but it's around two milligauss. So the most, the highest, worst axis was actually Y. So I will keep on measuring the Y, most, most fishful, the, the highest level, the axis with the highest level, which is Y. And I will start moving away from the source. I will continue moving away from the source until the meter will show nothing. Okay? Meaning that the meter is no longer influenced by this TV. Now the meter is actually showing nothing. I will hold and show you the display. Okay, you can see the levels and you can see on the histogram that it was high and then it dropped down because I, I put some distance between the meter and the TV and the source. 
And now, on the last position it was measuring, it showed nothing. Let's put it back. Okay, so this is actually, this is well, this is well, the meter is no more influenced by the TV. So, if I want to be more, even more uh, caution, I will add half a meter. This will be a, re a safety distance here. This will be a safety distance from the TV for a regular person. EHS people can add more uh, safety distance to it, but this is the way to measure how long the TV or the source can affect the meter. Okay? So, now that we, are, we, we know how to measure, we saw we went through the basic ways of doing a home use do it yourself style EMF measurement. Now we can know how to do it. Uh, we, know, we know how to find sources inside the house, how to find penetration points, and uh, we can reduce our exposure and uh, use protection if needed from external sources or from neighbors. Regarding neighbors, so it is rough, it's very cheap to, to knock on his door or on the neighbor's door and show him the levels that he's causing and maybe getting him to remove the source. It's cheaper than using protection, so do that first. And uh, the second thing is remember when you are you doing protection, uh, when you're doing measurement, uh, when you're measuring the radiation, try not to have any metal devices on your hands. Uh, not no cell phones, no tablets, nothing wireless on you, so it will not affect the measurements. Again, an, an additional thing is holding the meter. Make sure that you try, try and hold the meter that way, so you will not block the antennas which are here and the RF antenna. If, if you will like hold it that way, you will block the antenna and then you will influence the measurement. That, that's something we want to not to do okay so hold it like that then you can also walk the meter and not influence the measurement uh, it's very easy to remember it's a button 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 and then finger okay so thumb then do it like that not like that okay so uh, i hope you got it uh, we had three ways to measure we actually measure when you sit, or stay, or walk, or sleep. We search and find sources and penetration points, and then we find safety distance from those sources. Uh, by the way, I, I do not think that there are safety distance from RF sources, the safety distance only for EMF sources. Okay, so thank you guys and be safe. And Thanks you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching and see you next time.